LinkedIn is a team sport. So you want to optimize your personal profile as well as the profile of other key employees so that your customers or potential customers not only find you, but when they do find you, you look like a helpful expert. Let's get started. All right, so the first concept to understand is why we want to optimize our LinkedIn profile in the first place. So I'm assuming that you're the marketing manager, the business owner, so you're going to optimize your profile as well as the profiles for all key outward facing employees. Why? The concept is LinkedIn stalking. So let's say you've met me at a trade show somewhere. You're not sure you've got my business card. You're going to come home. You're going to go to Google. You're going to put in my name and often you'll put in my name plus a helper word like who I am. So I'm not a WordPress person. I'm not an accountant. I'm an SEO social media person. So you put in Jason McDonald SEO. You'll do a search and then you're going to find my LinkedIn profile. It's pretty easy to get that to show at the top of Google or you're going to go directly into LinkedIn and you're going to look me up at LinkedIn. And then what you're going to see and what I want you to see is I'm awesome, I'm friendly, I'm helpful, I can help you with this, that, and the other thing, uh, and I want to make it easy for you to contact me. So we're kind of reverse engineering, we're sort of backward engineering this process that starts with, you know, we want those potential customers to find us on Google, on LinkedIn, and see that we're awesome. And that goes for you and your key employees. Before I do that, I want to show you here on the left, click on contact and personal info and then scroll down and let me um, highlight this for you. Then uh, over here on the bottom, turn this so that it doesn't share your profile changes. And the reason for this is otherwise every time you make a change, you put a period in, you change your photo, you change some text. Uh, the stupid thing is going to alert your network. Oh my gosh, Jason updated his period or changed his exclamation point or whatever, which is really stupid. I don't even know why they have this feature. So turn that off. You don't want to share your profile changes, especially as you're sort of doing surgery on your profile. Now we're going to go and we're going to make go through some of the elements of a strong profile on LinkedIn. Okay, so let's stop. Start up here on the left, on the right, my other left and click on the little pencil and that gets you into your professional headline. Okay, so this here is your professional headline on LinkedIn and you don't want to write this in this generic way like vice president or, you know, senior COO or something stupid like that. You want to put those keywords in here that explain what can you do for this other person. So it's usually your skill set. So you'd put in, you know, John Doe, uh, uh, accountant for small businesses, or Jane Doe slash architect for eco-friendly buildings. So something so the person instantly sees, hey, this is what this person can do for me. And in terms of optimization, you want to show up on Google searches, on LinkedIn searches for this skill set. So you can see I've written mine with SEO, social media, uh, and I do expert witness work as well. So you want to fill out this first portion, and this headline is critical. It's the most important part of your LinkedIn profile is the professional headline. Okay, then scroll down a little bit. You'll see your summary, and you want to write your summary. I recommend using some all caps. Write it in such a way as if somebody came up to you at a trade show and they said, hey, what do you do? and you're going to articulate what you can do for them. So I wrote, I'm a teacher, corporate trainer, consultant, you know, yada, yada. I'm explaining what I do that can help you in your business. You can add in um, YouTube videos if you like, etc., and then you're going to click save. So that's your sort of tip of the iceberg portion. Okay, while we're here, you can see my little photo there. You can obviously change your photo. You can obviously change your background image if you want. Those are more cosmetic. You certainly want a good photo. Uh, we'll ignore articles because we're going to talk about that in another uh, video. You're going to go into your experience and you're going to click on the little pencil and you're going to add in the companies that you've worked for, of course, including your current employer. 
If you're a small business, if you set up a company page on LinkedIn, it will allow you to have the logo show. So you want to have that logo uh, on your own business, even if it's just me, myself, and I. So that's how you do that. So you're going to, again, and you're going to populate this, like what are you doing with an eye to how that can help uh, the people that are looking at your profile. So you're going to fill in your uh, company information and then look for those logos, look for those photos, make it look cool. Education, again, self-explanatory. So I went to Berkeley, I have a PhD from Berkeley, I went to Harvard, it's time to name drop. Put in your educational background, make it fun. Featured skills and endorsements, you can fill in your skills and then people will be able to endorse you uh, for those, which is awesome. Recommendations, Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that here, but you want to have recommendations and allow them. And then accomplishments, you can fill in your languages. You can see here that I speak Hungarian and I speak Klingon. One of those is true. Uh, and then certifications and things like that. And then you want to follow some groups and some uh, uh, areas on LinkedIn so that uh, you know you kind of look cool. So you're going to go through this middle section, and I've outlined that here in the post, you know, all the different elements, and you want to go through and optimize those. Then go up here to the top and click Edit Your Public Profile. Okay, so here, the main issue here is on this right column. Most of us want our LinkedIn to be visible to everyone. So I recommend making my public profile visible to everyone, unless you're like an investment banker or somebody with billions of dollars and you don't want to use it for that purpose. But most of us, the whole point of being on LinkedIn is to be easy to find. And then I'm going to make everything easy to find uh, so that potential customers um, can find me. Okay, so I've, I've done that. Now up here is your public URL. This is what is going to be seen by Google. Uh, so you're going to fill that in. I use Jason EG3. That was my old company. So I've had that kind of uh, for a long, long time. So that's sort of how you uh, how you do that. Okay, once you've got this publicity turned on, you're kind of done with that. All right, let's go back over here. Now, under your contact and personal info, again, here on the right-hand side, click this little pencil, and here's where you can put in your web information. And you'll see here that I've done something that's kind of clever, or I think it's kind of clever. If you have a website, you can put, if you choose other, you can put contact me, uh, here's my portfolio, I put read Jason's blog, etc. You can also just use the default settings, but this is to make it easy for people to contact you through LinkedIn who find you, etc. So I'm going to put in my contact information there and make it easy uh, for people to find me. Uh, and then down here, you're going to put in your phone number and your email. And just a heads up, I don't know how paranoid you are, but anyone who is a first level connection will be able to see these. So if you're, you know, super paranoid about what that is, I, you know, you got to think about that. I would not put your physical address in here. It's a little spooky and weird. So I wouldn't do that. I would just put my phone, my work phone and my work email and then hit save and then I'm done. All right, so we've gone through the various pieces of LinkedIn optimization and we've optimized that and we've, we're, we're pretty much happy with it. And again, when you wanna kind of preview it, you can just look at it and see, hey, what does it look like? You can also, of course, go and click edit your public profile and that gives you kind of a, a, a sense of what does it look like to the outside world. And I'm leaving aside the published stuff, we'll talk about that in another post, uh, but your experience, uh, where you've worked, uh, you know, all your job stuff, uh, all this kind of stuff. You want to fill this out. And again, so important, the perspective is a potential customer looking at you. Don't fall into this trap of like, it's just your resume. It's like you're looking for a job. If you're not looking for a job, you're looking to network, you're looking to outreach, make it sort of a sales pitch about you and what you can do for them. Uh, in a business relationship. So you want to make it have some pizzazz to it. Don't make it boring. Make it fun. Make it interesting. Make it explain who you are and what you can do for them uh, in a business uh, sense. Okay. 
All right, so number three, at this point, we're going to review our LinkedIn profile and make sure everything is cool. And here's sort of the questions uh, that I think are really worth asking. So when you look at that profile, is it clear what your skills are? Is it clear what your keywords are? Is it clear in your professional headline? What do you offer, right? You're, this is the whole focus on, is it clear what can you do for them, right? Make sure it's succinct and bulleted. Make sure you have a smiling professional photo. Join some groups, list your employers, make it easy to contact you uh, so that you are done. Once you're done with your optimization, then in other videos, other parts of my books, I explain how to reach out to colleagues and friends, post updates, etc. cetera. Uh, so thank you for watching. The link to the materials, of course, is in the YouTube description. And this, my friends, has been a little video about how to optimize your LinkedIn profile.